Well, we've got some dry weather, some airplanes coming in, and the epoxy on the boat has set up nicely. We've got our deck, transom, and bottom done. So the next thing to do is to move on to these side pieces. And we'll start with cutting out the pieces of fiberglass. And we've still got a lot of sanding to do, but the only other pieces to cover will be the hull sides. We've got our fiberglass piece cut out and matched to the side. The boat has been fully fiberglassed. The next thing is to start sanding off some of these rough edges and some of the areas where the epoxy is built up a little bit. Just another view showing the fully fiberglassed boat. After about an hour of sanding, we've got some clean lines. Still have a little bit more sanding to do, and then we'll start laying up some more layers of epoxy. We've got a real heavy coat of epoxy on here. It's filled in some of the slight imperfections. I still want to put one more coat on here and then move on to some heavier coats on the inside as well. But we've got a nice sheen on there. It's coming along. Coming along really well. This is the second coat of epoxy. Got a nice sheen to it. And from a little bit of a distance, it looks real perfect. <laughs> I know where some of the imperfections are, and I still think that I'm going to paint the boat. I've got a color scheme, color theme in mind, but we're certainly making progress. I just finished up putting the last coat of epoxy on the deck and the windshield. So we're gonna let this set up for about 24 hours. The whole boat is covered in two to three coats of epoxy and some of those layers are pretty thick. Because I'm gonna be painting this, the next step is to rough up the epoxy a little bit once that deck dries and then we'll start moving on to paint. And just a view from the other side. Really neat little lines on this boat. And I'm looking forward to getting the paint on there and then starting to work on the steering and the electronics. The boat has been fully sealed, fully waterproofed with epoxy and fiberglass. We've got several coats on here. We've got a nice sheen to it as well. I've gone back and forth about the decision either to paint or to leave it natural. And there are a few areas, some slight imperfections here and there that I think would always bother me that are under the surface. And some of those slight areas of cloudiness may have been from the extreme humidity that we've had over the last few weeks. There's not many of them, but it's enough that I think it would, it would bother me. Mm -hmm.